Sonic, the heart of your system. Hi guys, Storm here from Kit Guru, and I'm joined today by Pete from AMD. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And today we're having a look at AMD's new app released quite recently called AMD Link. Yes, it is. So what is AMD Link? So, uh, AMD Link is really a one-of-a-kind app. Mm. So, you connect to your PC and you're able to do many things that you would be able to do with your PC, but you have your mobile device with you, right? So, you can do them from your mobile device instead. So what is the single coolest thing that this new app can do? Well, if I had to choose, I would say game streaming. So using AMD Link, you're actually able to play all your PC games in the devices that you have in your house, like uh, your mobile phone or your tablet. You can actually play proper PC games on your mobile device. So you can stream directly, I can play anything. Exactly, exactly. You can stream from Streamlabs app and things like that. Why should we use the AMD Link instead? So uh, performance wise, it's better mm -hmm. uh, because as you know, we make these things called radiant cards, right? Yeah. So we kind of have the, like the secret sauce <laughs> in order to make this work better than other competing solutions. So uh, latency is lower. Uh, as I said, you can use uh, your uh, Bluetooth controllers mm -hmm. if you want to. You can either use uh, on-screen controls, you can uh, do a combination of those. So I actually know some controllers, for cheap controllers that don't have all the buttons. You can actually map the buttons that you are missing on your device and use both. So we've got streaming, what else can the yes. app do? So uh, apart from that, we have performance metrics, so the user can actually use his phone or her phone as uh, a second monitor, essentially, and see stuff like their clocks, GPU clocks, their temperature, what kind of FPS they're getting in their game. Uh, you can actually use Wattman, which means you can overclock your CP GPU, you can underclock your GPU, do all these cool stuff that you can do with Wattman and you have access to the, your Relive gallery. So this means that you can grab videos, screenshots and all that and play them back from your mobile phone. You mentioned streaming. Is there, we're streaming from the PC to our device. Yes. Can we access any other kinds of streams? Like, can we stream? So since, uh, so since AMD Link is uh, working is powered by Relive, you can actually stream to Twitch, YouTube and all that. You can do that. So imagine that your phone becomes some sort of a remote control. So you can control Relive from your mobile device. Or you can simply tell AMD Link to do what you want to do. And there's some voice features as well with AMD Link? Yes, this is actually a new feature that we introduced uh, a couple of months ago. And uh, how this works is that you actually, we actually have some commands on your phone that you can say something like, hey Radian, grab a screenshot or hey Radian, uh, record a video and your phone will do just that. So it has voice recognition uh, for English and Mandarin. So it's actually a pretty cool feature. And, and the cool thing about it is that it doesn't need the internet to work. It's offline. Oh. So it just uses your phone's uh, capabilities to do so. So there's no voice going over the cloud and so on and so forth. So how many commands does it understand at the moment? Well, it's, I think it's about 15 or 20. Mm -hmm. And as I said, it, it uses both languages. Uh, just to confirm, does it work on both platforms? Yes, iOS, Android, you name it. And when did this app come out again? <laughs> so this app has been out for the past year, year and a half almost. Oh wow! Uh, the, we made the first version last year, and it had more of a performance metrics uh, focus, and uh, we had ways to control uh, Relive, as I said, Relive mm -hmm. functionality. But this year, we decided to go bigger, and we decided that since we have this cool technology, what would be the best way to make it more accessible? And, and since most of us are gamers, we were like. Let's make game streaming happen. And so we did. So it's been, so you've gone through a couple of changes since its first yes. release. What are you hoping this does for your user base? Like you've, you've got the what, but why? 
have you made? So this? why? The reason is simple. Uh, so people buy Radiant cards, right? So we want to be sure that they're getting the most out of their money. So it's not just you grab a card, you put it inside your PC and you play games, but we provide functionality that is making their lives easier. We are enabling creators to stream, to uh, create videos, to do all these cool stuff. And using your mobile device was the next step in that. So everybody has their phone like close by when they're in front of their PC, right? So at some point we thought, why not use that? What would make this thing interesting? So that's why we started all this AMD Link thing. Obviously, I can talk about what's next, right? You, you know the thing that everybody says. Hmm. But what I can tell you is this. Uh, one of the cool things about my job is that I actually pay attention to what the users ask for. So I actually pay attention to discussions on Reddit and all these social media. And if people want a certain feature, I really pay close attention and I actually make try to make it happen. So this is actually making my job easier, as you probably imagine, because it, it's either look at the ceiling and try to come up with features mm. or listen to the user base. Uh, to be honest, it's not just me. That's how my team works, mm. right? So whenever you hear about cool new features, uh, it's a very good chance that somebody somewhere said that, hey, wouldn't it be cool if Radiant Cards did this. So for all the cool features that are coming our way, we have to thank the Reddit users. <laughs> Them too. Right. Oh, and you, of course. <laughs> If you have any ideas of your own, where can they contact you? So they can contact us via Reddit. They can go to our uh, forums and post things. And uh, in general, we pay attention to most social media, right? Uh, either Facebook or Twitter or whatever people actually ask for things. So they need to get their voices heard. And I want to make sure that everybody knows that we are listening. So you mentioned Relive a few yes. times. What is that for anyone that doesn't know? So Relive is our technology that allows us to do all these cool multimedia stuff. So it allows us to grab videos, uh, record videos, stream. All these technologies are under the Relive umbrella. So uh, we started with uh, very uh, simple things like recording. Uh, we started with uh, streaming and all that this year. We added game streaming via AMD Link, and of course, Relive is also used for our VR uh, streaming things. And VR, so I can stream VR as well? Yes, so actually, uh, and this doesn't happen via AMD Link because you obviously need a VR app to do it. Mm. So we have an app called Relive for VR. It's available for uh, the HTC Vive Focus and all the Daydream devices and you can download it and you can uh, put it on your device and what it does is it works with Steam VR. So uh, you load Steam VR, it connects to it automatically and after that you're streaming the contents in your PC to your wireless mobile headset which is a very cool thing. Uh, with the first time I, uh, the engineer showed it to me, I was like, wow, this thing has zero lag. It's that good. And uh, this allows you to play VR games that you would normally need a very expensive uh, HMD headset in order to play it with a cord behind your head and so on and so forth. Uh, this allows you to play these games with those mobile devices, which is very good. All you need to be aware of is what kind of demands the game has, whether it needs uh, six degree of freedom controllers, three degree of freedom controllers. So depending on what you have, you play the appropriate games. Does it work on any router? Uh, yes, you need an AC router, but most of these are like very common these days. And how much bandwidth are you like? So, so it all depends on your settings, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that 20 to 50 megabps, if you can sustain that, you're set and all good to go. That's, that's for the gaming, but for the VR? 
The VR is a little bit more, it's mm -hmm. 50. But as I said, uh, th those these AC networks are very fast, so they are able to handle it, no problem. So you can get in contact through the, uh, to them through most of their social media on Reddit, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, yep. which we will put the links to in the description box below. But thank you so much for telling thank us you. about that. Let us know what you think of the video, guys. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell to find out when our next videos are. And until next time, bye. Bye. <laughs>